In this episode of the vlog, we go to visit some Charleston must-visit locations, including the Boone Hall Plantation, the Angel Oak Tree, and we get chased out by the southern weather. That is getting a bit close for comfort. That is unbelievable weather. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to send a special thank you for those who sent me tips on PayPal for my upcoming Halloween trip to the United States, including Jennifer, Christine, Connie, Stephen, Frederick and Blake. Thank you very much guys, these tips will go towards making these videos possible. If you'd like to contribute as well, scan the QR code on screen now or check the link down below for my PayPal link. So we've arrived at Boone Hall Plantation. This road leading up to the place is absolutely incredible. We have the big oaks with the Spanish moss, I think it's called, hanging down. It's, it's, I've, I've never seen anything like this before. Amazing. Parked up at Boone Hall, got my ticket thing, take that to hospitality, and then we make a start. As we got started on this tour, the first port of call was to listen to a presentation from a local member of the Gullah Geechee Nation to learn about the history of Boone Hall, but also to confront its dark history. Plantations like this one all across the south predominantly used slavery as a means to grow, harvest and sell their crops. People were shipped into ports like Charleston and were forced to live and work in these plantations as slaves. And it's important that every tourist visiting these sites, which are beautiful today with places like the Avenue of the Oaks, are reminded of this dark history. The guide gave us an excellent presentation of the Gullah Geechee people, their unique language, how they lived and worked, the food that they ate, and other unique things about their culture. That was really, really interesting. A great presentation from the lady talking about the Gullah Geechee Nation and the history of the area, the people in the area. Amazing. And she's such a good orator as well and very, very funny. And right now, we're heading up to the main house which is not the original house because it did burn down once and then two times they said it was too small so they reconstructed it a few times fourth, this is the fourth variation of this house the Boone Hall but we're going for a tour of it should be good The Boone Hall Plantation is one of the oldest plantations in America that's still in operation and has continually produced crops for over 320 years The earliest known reference to the site was in 1681 when 470 acres were gifted to Major John Boone by his father-in-law. The current version of the main house is a 1936 colonial revival project, following fires and other changes to the original house that stood here. While we were unable to take photos or videos inside the house, it was well worth doing the tour. So I'm currently sitting under, currently sitting under a huge, enormous live, live oak tree here. It's absolutely enormous. The width of this thing, and this apparently, is thought to be the oldest tree on this whole estate. It's over 600 years old. It's pretty cool. These are some of the many gardens they've got through here as well, through the estate. I did hear a big crack of thunder there, and some pretty big dark clouds coming. And so we need to go and take these photos of the, the avenue of the oaks before that rain comes in because it probably will come in being the south and being summertime Spanish moss is not Spanish and it's not moss it's a flowering plant and this right here Leading all the way, leading all the way to the big hoose up there, right behind me, 
is the famous Avenue of the Oaks. They've actually just put these lanterns out, so I suspect at night time they, they light fires and it will be all very pretty here. But this here behind me, that's Avenue of the Oaks that we drove through on the way here. And it's the iconic photo that you'll see. All around Charleston, of you know, artists and stuff have drawn this place as you enter. It's just incredible. It's like you're in a cathedral of trees. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is it. Famous Avenue of the Oaks. It is incredible. What a view. We're trying to go to the Angel Oak Tree, which is an iconic location here on the edge of our Charleston, on the edge of Charleston, but the heavens have opened. There is a torrential downpour coming right now. It's been happening like almost every day to be honest. We've got lightning, thunder, and just now just like a men's rainstorm. You can probably hear it on the window. And we're kind of close, we're only seven minutes away from this tree, so I'm not sure that we'll actually be getting out to see the tree. Fingers crossed, but it's not looking promising. Do you guys hear that? That's constant, constant thunder. It just doesn't stop. That was, that was a big storm we passed. Unfortunately, we've arrived at this Angel Oak place. It's open for another hour yet, but it's... Oh my God. It says here, on the sign here, that when there's thunder and lightning storms, the park is closed, so we can't get in, the gate is shut. They know that it's not safe to stand underneath a tree when thunder is passing. Probably quite wise, but unfortunately that means that we don't get to see the endo tree. Well, we can see. See, it's right next to us, yeah, that's it there, basically. <laughs> that's the leaves of this thing. Yeah. Oh well, we came, we tried, but the southern south weather got us. The Angel Oak, located not far from Charleston, is estimated to be about 400 to 500 years old. And it's a true icon of the state of South Carolina. I feel like somebody's telling us to get out of here. And local folklore tells legends of ghosts appearing as angels underneath the tree. I feel like the getting closer. Mm-hmm. Is there any more? That is getting a bit close for comfort. That is unbelievable weather. This weather is insane, honestly. As I get in, to be honest. A wee bit, uh, a wee bit close for comfort. You hear that? Safe places in the car, always safer in the car. Oh my God, that is wild. We got a look at it from the road here, looking at the tree. But that that is a crazy wild thunderstorm. I don't think I've seen something like that. And I don't think I've ever heard a thunderstorm like that before. The tree is so beautiful though. The tree's beautiful. Yes. That is a very beautiful tree and I can see even from the fence you get a, get a decent enough look at it straight ahead. I can see it's a very beautiful tree. But just not safe. I can see why the wardens have closed the closed the park here and not letting anyone in because it's just too dangerous. Like with that amount of lightning coming down. Who knows what could happen? 
Let me just look at something. I've got an app here that shows you the lightning strikes at any one time. Live. According to this, mostly ahead of us and out into the ocean. I don't know if you can see that. Where my finger's pointing there, that's Charleston. And you can see most of the lightning is off into the ocean, out in front of us. It actually passed right over where we were. Mm, that was close. Yeah, that was close. Most of it is out into the ocean, but passing where we were on the plantation. So I'm kind of glad that we got out of there when we did. Or we would have got absolutely swamped. But that was, that's wild.